but please, Chance, come home. The family of Chance Engelbert continues their plea to the public to help reunite them with their son. KNEB.TV News starts right now. From your trusted source for news in western Nebraska and eastern Wyoming, this is KNEB.TV News. Presented by Platte Valley Companies, premier provider of financial services. Hello, I'm Ryan Murphy. This is KNEB.TV News, powered by Platte Valley Companies. Thanks for joining me. In our top story, it's been nearly one week since anybody has seen or heard from Chance Engelbert, who went missing on Saturday after walking away from a Garing home. Garing Police Chief George Holtis says that during their search, 147 people from 18 agencies have canvassed more than 2,400 acres during their week-long search throughout the county. That included aerial search efforts over the North Platte River, Highways 92 and 26, and the Burlington Northern Railroad. Those searches stretches from Scottsbluff County to the Wyoming state line. Crews also searched 10 lakes and ponds while using sonar. You know, the, the community came out and, and helped us successfully search uh, a wide area. And unfortunately, the success is not what we had hoped for. The success is we can say with relative certainty that chance isn't in those areas. Holtis says in that investigative stage, they'll have more in-depth searches into cell phone and credit card usage, as well as interviews with family, friends, and coworkers. Anybody with information on Chance's whereabouts are now being asked to contact the Scottsbluff County Communications Center at 308-436-6666. Well, the 98th Annual Oregon Trail Days began its four-day run last evening with the traditional kickoff barbecue and street dance in downtown Garing. And today there is a full lineup of activities, including the morning kitty parade and the carnival up at Five Rocks Amphitheater. OT Days committee member Bill Peters says this evening's International Food Fair will offer a great variety. You know, we've had everything. Uh, we've had uh, people come from Lincoln with Italian food. We've had uh, Greek food in years past. Uh, we've had people come in from uh, uh, northwestern Nebraska uh, with their uh, chuck wagons and uh, uh, food trucks with uh, uh, food truck fair, mm -hmm. uh, uh, Mexican food, and all sorts of things. Tomorrow, the Oregon Trail Days Parade gets started at 10 a.m. There will be numerous activities throughout the day, and KNEB's Diamond Rio and Restless Heart Concert will be at the Five Rocks Amphitheater as well. A full schedule of events can be found at OregonTrailDays.com. Well, straight ahead, Bill Boyer will be in with your weekend weather forecast. Be back with that right after this on KNEB.TV News. At Platte Valley Bank, we understand that you have a busy life, and that means you don't always have time to come to the bank. That's why we offer user-friendly online and mobile banking with features such as iPay, recurring transfers, and mobile deposit. So you can bank how you want, when you want to. Whether you prefer to bank in person, over the phone, or online, Platte Valley Bank makes it easy to take care of your finances. The 5055E from John Deere features the value of choice with a cab or open station, two-wheel drive or mechanical front-wheel drive, and transmission options. In addition to easy-to-use controls and loader compatibility, all of this is backed with a five-year powertrain warranty. The only thing easier than owning a 5E is operating one. See your John Deere dealer for details. Visit 21st Century Equipment with locations in Scottsbluff, Torrington, Bridgeport, and Alliance. If a sandwich needs a little something extra, you add bacon to it. If a sandwich is perfect just the way it is, you add bacon to it. Arby's, we have the meat. This is KNEB.TV weather from the Arby's Weather Center. Arby's, we have the meat. A couple of isolated thunderstorms are going to be around the region early. Otherwise, skies are going to clear overnight, and we're going to be left with very mild temperatures tonight and into tomorrow as our heat wave continues. So other than those couple of storms, very little rain expected the next seven days. No major changes are coming, and temps are going to heat up and remain in the 90s for the foreseeable future. We hit 99 yesterday, a morning low of 58, right where we should have been for a low. 
almost 10 degrees above normal for our high yesterday. We're still over three inches above normal for the year. Starting to whittle away at that uh, surplus for the month, though. And really, if we don't get any rain tonight, uh, things are going to look pretty dry here across the region. Oregon Trail Day's forecast for tomorrow, mostly sunny. It's going to be hot, highs in the mid-90s. Same situation Sunday, sunny and hot, highs in the mid and upper 90s. Severe weather threat tonight is not zero here across the region. We do have marginal risk of severe storms from those storms this evening. A better chance of severe storms just off to our east. That includes areas like Lance in Bridgeport, down through Oshkosh, Hyannis, Mullen, North Platte. Those areas could be experiencing some severe storms this evening. We will keep a close eye on that for you. Then as we go into tomorrow, severe weather threat gets shunted off to our north a little bit. And really, I think the thunderstorm chance is going to be pretty low tomorrow. Uh, primarily off in the northern panhandle is where we're going to be dealing with any of that activity. And then as we go into the day on Sunday, severe weather threat and really the thunderstorm chances get pushed way away from our region. So if you don't get an isolated storm tonight, it's going to be pretty slim pickings. We've got a few isolated storms around. Better chances of severe weather just off to our east as those storms congeal into a line, and we're going to see temperatures tonight pretty mild into the uh, upper 50s and low to mid 60s out there in many locations. And then tomorrow it's going to be a scorcher. You're going to have uh, hot and dry and sunny conditions uh, all the way through the day today, tomorrow. Late tomorrow afternoon, an isolated thunderstorm tries to brew, but it's going to be tough to find those and tough to get them sustained very long. And we have a per pretty nice night coming for us tomorrow night for the Oregon Trail Days concert. Temperatures up for 90s across the region, so a little toasty, but we can handle that. Just an isolated thunderstorm around early. Lows in the 60-degree range tonight. Tomorrow, quite hot. Highs in the upper 90s. And if you like that forecast, you've got seven days of it coming up. Upper 90s to near 100 degrees for the next seven days. No real big chances of precip in sight. And hot conditions can continue. If I said everything you need to know about Arby's Ultimate BLT is right there in the name, how would that make the honey wheat bread feel? Probably not great. Arby's, we have the meat for sandwiches. U.S. National Hot Air Balloon Championship lands in western Nebraska. Starting August 12th, there will be 50 balloons color in the sky. Then on the 16th and 17th, 30 Old West Balloon Fest pilots take flight. Can't make it to the morning launches? Enjoy one of two night glow options, August 15th at WNCC or the 17th at Five Rocks Amphitheater. There will be a kids' education zone and tethered rides for kids 12 and under. The morning launches at Mitchell Airfield. To learn more about the national competition and the Old West Balloon Fest, visit theoldwestballoonfest.com. Are you ready to join the celebration? Then what are you waiting for? Switch to Viero today and find out exactly why we're better. More towers than the competition, convenient stores in your neighborhood, friendly, helpful customer service, and top phones at excellent values, such as the iPhone XR for free. That's right, get a free iPhone XR when you purchase any other iPhone of equal or greater value. Viero Wireless, your better choice for wireless service. Welcome back. A registered sex offender from Scotch Bluff has been charged with first-degree sexual assault of a child, third-degree sexual assault of a child, and attempted third-degree sexual assault of a child. 46-year-old John Adelman is accused of sexually assaulting two girls, aged 13 and 7, during the fall of 2017. Bond has been set at $500,000, and he made his first appearance on his three felony charges Friday morning in Scotch Bluff County Court. If convicted on the latest charges, with a state-recommended habitual criminal enhancement, Adelman could be facing a minimum of 35 years in prison. Well, today, Governor Pete Ricketts spent his afternoon in Sydney as part of a victory tour for Nebraska's recent win of a National Economic Development Award. Ricketts made stops at Next Gen Outfitters and UST Global Expansion, businesses that directly contributed to the Nebraska's 2018 Governor's Cup victory. Ricketts also made stops today at MMP Enterprises, which represents a new investment for 2019, and WNCC was included in the tour due to its important work developing the workforce to help Nebraska win the 2018 Governor's Cup. And Nebraska Corrections Director Scott Frakes won't have to testify before lawmakers about the state's lethal injection protocol or how prison officials obtained the drugs used in an execution last year. 
The Nebraska Supreme Court sided Friday with the State Corrections Department, which sought to block a subpoena from the legislature's Judiciary Committee that would have required Frakes to answer questions about his department's lethal injection practices. Well, straight ahead, Bryce and Alex will be in with your Friday Five. We'll have that right after the break. KNEB presents country music rising star, Dylan Scott. I'm Friday, August 16th at the historic Midwest Theater in Scotts Bluff. Presented by Allo Communications and Vieira Wireless. Tickets are on sale now at the Midwest Theater box office by phone at 632-4311 or at MidwestTheater.com. Dylan Scott, August 16th at the historic Midwest Theater in Scotts Bluff with KNEB. Care Heilbrunn State Farm Agent is here to protect all the moving parts of your life. With auto, home, life, and financial services, Care Heilbrunn and her team make it simple to bring together what matters to you. Find out what convenient really means at the Western Travel Terminal. Start with our great selection of food and drinks from for real milkshakes and fresh brewed coffee to snacks and hot food. Next, check out our beer and spirits with their everyday low prices. Finally, let us work for you with our full service gas station and automatic truck and car wash. All this can be found at 822 South Beltline in Scotts Bluff. Western Travel Terminal, your convenient shopping, restaurant and full service gas leader. You said yes. Together, you planned every detail. You married. And then you realized 500 square feet just isn't enough room for two. When life happens, find a home that fits. First National Bank North Platte. Start your mortgage pre-approval today. You decide to add another to your family. You start reading parenting books. You're amazed that such a small human could need so much space. When life happens, find a home that fits. First National Bank North Platte. Start your mortgage pre-approval today. This is KNEB TV Ag News from the First National Bank Ag Desk. First National Bank of North Platte, the bank to think of first. It's been over four months since Nebraska's most widespread natural disaster swept through the state, but now central Nebraska has been hit again. We have more on that story, plus a recap of Ag News from the past week. Welcome to Friday Five, which is presented by the Nebraska Corn Board. Central Nebraska saw excessive amounts of rainfall this week with reports of 7, 8, even 10 inches of rain in some areas in just one day. This footage is from our Ag Force One drone. Flooding impacted much of the southern area of Kearney and areas of Buffalo, Dawson, Frontier, Gosper, Kearney, Harlan, and Phelps counties. Later in the week, that water moved east along the Platte and Wood River. Staying in central Nebraska, a tractor and a straight truck collided Monday near Kozad, causing this. The tractor and truck, which was hauling a roll-off container, were traveling in the same direction when the tractor was struck from behind. A Dawson County Sheriff said that the driver of the tractor was transported to Kozad Community Hospital and then flown to Kearney for further care. Now, the driver of that truck was not injured, but the accident still remains under investigation. Moving on, Tuesday was Cow Appreciation Day, and that that might not mean what you're thinking. Chick-fil-A is the mastermind behind Cow Appreciation Day, a day where the company commemorates its Eat More Chicken Cows. Customers who visited any Chick-fil-A location across the United States dressed in anything cow-like were eligible for a free entree. Now, the restaurant chain said that during last year's Appreciation Day, just short of 2 million customers dressed up like cows for a free meal. 2 million people, how about that? Well, moving on, Impossible Foods is at it again. First, they had what they called meatless burgers, Soon they may have fishless fish, Alex. Fishless fish is a project that's part of Impossible's ambitions to replace every single animal-based food on the market by 2035. Impossible Foods is not the only company developing fishless fish. The company Wild Type is creating cell-cultured salmon. And company Good Catch recently started a line of fish-free tuna. If you're interested, it's available at Whole Foods. I think I'm going to pass on that for now. And finally this week, we are celebrating something that sounds much more tastier than plant-based tuna. That's mac and cheese. Yes, indeed. National Mac and Cheese Day is celebrated Sunday 
And after talking about fishless fish, I'm looking forward to that celebration. No kidding. When Kraft introduced its famous box version of macaroni and cheese back in 1937, they sold 9 million boxes in the first year. Today, get this, Kraft sells 1 million boxes every single day. That box is up this edition of Friday Five, presented by the Nebraska Corn Board. Have a great weekend. This is Mike. Mike likes his car. Mike likes to save money. And Mike likes to breathe. So Mike fills up with E15 with 15% American ethanol. The clean octane in E15 gives Mike the performance he wants from his engine and the clean air he wants for his family. Better yet, E15 costs less at the pump. Higher octane, cleaner air, lower cost. E15 sure gives Mike a lot to like. Discover E15 with American ethanol. Sometimes events in life are planned. Others, a happy surprise. No matter what life change you're navigating, whether you're getting married or just want a bigger yard for your pup, find a home that fits. First National Bank North Platte. Start your mortgage pre-approval today. Retirement, a new season in life where you can change how you live it. And something easier, convenient, that feels just right. When it's time, find a home that fits. First National Bank North Platte. Start your mortgage pre-approval today. Why do we work all hours of the night? Head towards challenges instead of turning away and work together to solve the toughest problems so you can enjoy the little things and all the big moments life has to offer. Tri-State and our family of electric cooperatives. Brighter, stronger, better together. When it comes to helping local folks with the loans and financial advice they need, we don't horse around. Our only goal is to help you and your family achieve your financial goals with the right loans and savings products. So if you want to bank with people that care about you and your financial needs, stop by or give us a call. First State Bank. We're big on you. Member FDIC. Online at fsbcentral.com. Well, let's take a peek at what's happening on your weekend community calendar. That's a look at today's community calendar brought to you by First State Bank, honoring those who give back. Nominate your community champion at fsbcentral.com. This chair is way too big. It's perfect for us. This one's tiny. That's because it's mine. Hey, this chair is just right. This bed is way too hard. It's perfect for me. This bed is way too soft. Ah, uh, just what I needed. This bed is just right. So come on over to Leaf Heads! 
On April 15, 1924, West Nebraska Methodist Episcopal Hospital, the region's first modern hospital, opened in downtown Scotts Bluff. The goal was to provide the care residents needed close to home, and it's never changed. For 95 years, we've continued to provide exceptional health care for generations of families throughout our region as a community hospital, a regional referral center, and a level two trauma center. Thank you for trusting your health care to Regional West Medical Center. The growth and prosperity of our community is dependent on the reinvestment of local dollars into our local economy. When you open a high interest savings account at Platte Valley Bank, we turn around and loan your money back to our community for new construction, business expansion, home loans, in backing agriculture, and much more. Come save with us at Platte Valley Bank and know that you are doing business with a local bank with local decisions that reinvests your money here in our community. And finally tonight, it's been a busy few weeks for staff at the Panhandle Humane Society. And one of the biggest challenges they currently face is being at capacity for cats. Executive Director Amy Bartholomew says the main goal, of course, is to get all of these cats forever homes. Now recently, one patron came in and gave the Panhandle Humane Society $100 to cover the cost of some of the adoptions in an act of paying it forward. And so when we get animals sponsored, we don't tell people, because we don't want them to pick an animal just because it's free. We want them to pick the animal they want, and then when they come up to do the adoption is when we tell them, hey, your animal's been sponsored. And just recently, they people have been saying, oh, well, then I'd like to sponsor another cat. So it kind of keeps the ball rolling. The sponsored cats are selected ahead of time by PHS staff based on how long they've been there, the cat's age, or if the cat is more difficult to adopt. Anybody looking to adopt any animal from the Panhandle Humane Society is required to fill out an application form ahead of time, but if you are looking to help out the cause, whether it's paying for a cat sponsorship or adopting a cat yourself, you can visit the Panhandle Humane Society on the South Beltline Highway in Scotts Bluff. Well, that does it for us this time. Thank you so much for tuning in. Hope to see you out at the Diamond Rio Restless Heart Concert tomorrow night. And if not, we'll see you back here on Monday.